In this experiment, we're going to test encoding specificity. And so you're going to be shown a lot of word pairs in the center of the screen for about four seconds each. One word is shown in lowercase letters and the other in capital letters. What you're going to do is remember the words in capital letters for a later memory test. Okay, so you will need a pen and paper for this experiment. Um, it'll start in the middle. So don't write them down beforehand. That's cheating. So use the word in lowercase letters, it's called the context word, as an aid to remember the one in capital letters, the target word. So in other words, when you are trying to remember them, think of the target word as it relates to the context word. Okay, so let me show you some examples. Uh, the example is that B for context and knee for target, because it's the B's knees. Um, and so I could remember the word knee because of the word B. Um, and then another example would be flag would be the context and pole would be the target because flag poles are something that you're familiar with. <clears throat> and so you're trying to remember the word in capital letters and you're supposed to think about how the context word um, relates to it. Okay, so there are going to be uh, a bunch of different words and then we will do the memory task at the end. <clears throat>
Okay, so now you're gonna get out a piece of paper and number it one to 48. <clears throat> or at least have spaces for all the words. Um, and you're gonna get the memory test for the capital letter words. Uh, so we're gonna give you a cue, because I know that was a lot of words, and you'll get them for several seconds each. So you're gonna use that memory a uh, memory cue as an aid to help you recall the target words. So write down the word on your paper as you go. If you can't remember the word for that particular one, just put a dash so that you know you've missed it. Okay. Um, and so here we go.
Okay, so let's score the data. Um, match the numbers on your sheet with um, the ones listed here and count the number you recall correctly. So don't worry about spelling. Thank goodness, right? So that will be um, the, the total called RR. Uh, so you're going to write down how many of those words that you got correct. Okay, so for the next one, you're going to write down how many of these words you got correct. So uh, starting with number two, and that will be labeled RA. All right, um, for these sets of words, we're going to label them AR. <clears throat> And for these last sets of words, we're going to label them AA. So what is all of that? Uh, it's a replication of a Fisher and Craig study, and it's called encoding specific specificity. So the idea is that um, there is a type of processing, and as long as the type of processing matches between encoding and retrieval, you will do much better than if they um, mismatch. Okay? Uh, so it's different from levels of processing. It's not about deep encoding. It's about um, having a match between the type of processing in storage and the type of processing in retrieval. So there are four conditions. Um, <clears throat> In the study condition, we might have house and mouse, so those are rhyming pairs. And in the test condition, that rhymes with house, so you got the original cue you had. Okay. In the uh, study condition, you might have something like music and drum, so those are semantically related. And then you get the test of associated with music. Okay. Thief and beef. But now we're getting a mix match, so where it's associated with cattle. So that's true for beef, but that's not how you learned it. An insect and bug, those are semantic pairs. But now I'm getting rhymes with lug, so I'm trying to match it to um, a keyword I didn't have. So the first one is the match, R to R, rhyming condition at the beginning, rhyming condition at the end. Second one's a match, A to A, associative condition at the beginning, associative at the end. The next one is a mismatch, so I get a rhyming condition but an associative cue. And another mismatch, a uh, associative condition and a rhyming cue. So we should be better at these first two and worse at the second two. So here's some traditional results. Um, what you see is the black bar on the left here is when you rhyme and rhyme. Come on, computer. There we go. Rhyme and rhyme. <clears throat> or not today. It's not going to play along nicely. There we go. Okay. Rhyme and rhyme. The white bar over here on the right is associate and associate. They are much higher than the two mismatch conditions here in the middle where we don't do so hot. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn in your four totals, the AA total, AR total, RR total, and RA total, so we can create the same graph for our class. Okay. So it's encoding specificity. Um, the process between encoding and retrieval, if they match, you do really well. Um, if they don't match, you do poorly.